Wow, it is an absolutely epic landscape here. What a dirt road, eh? Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 245 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Bumblebee is still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I would kind of like to be too. We're here at this petrol station somewhere on Patagonia's desert coast in Argentina where the kind people let us camp just next to the generator. <laughs> this is great. Man, there were so many noises the whole night. It was like a vibration going on because of the generator. And there was trucks coming uh, quite a lot. Look, just above us. It's pretty much next to where the trucks are coming in and out and parking and keeping their engines on for some reason for hours. But we got a nice petrol station coffee, a nice espresso, so... Yeah, so let me show you guys where we're going to be riding today. So we are around here next to the hamlet of Garialde. And our new mission is all the way down here, the very bottom, Bushwire. But it's a very long way. So today we are going to be heading just south. Yes, despite the fact that we would like to stay in the tent for the rest of the day, we have to make it further south to our next destination, the town at the end of the earth, Ushuaia. <laughs> yeah. For today, we just have to see how far we can get today. Let's see how the wind conditions are. We have still pick up everything and get Bumblebee ready. It's already eight o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. <laughs> Hola. Hola. All right, ready to hit the road. Ready to hit the road indeed. Oh look, there's some other tours. Awesome, yes. from Brazil. Tenere's. Nice. That's a good, good, good bike as well. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a Tenere. Uh, we fueled up on the way in yesterday, which means we are all good to just hit the road and do some miles south. So this is the Ruta Nacional 3, our home for the last week. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, look how when you come out from the petrol station, it just comes out into nothing around. Look at this. Yeah, incredible. Really, here's nothing going on. It's even less nothing than I was expecting at the beginning. Yeah, and it's not just one day ride is like three or four days riding. Yeah, we're talking like <laughs> 10 hours riding through and yeah. the landscape doesn't change and there's barely even a hill. It's Crazy, just man. Plains, look at this. Yeah. Plains and plains and plains. Yep, that's the Patagonian step. And we've still got a thousand miles more south to go. Yeah, we have to change uh, our strategy as well and try to avoid now petrol stations because uh, it's just you don't really get a good night of sleep there. So tonight we are looking to do a camp out in the Patagonian steppe, out in the wild. But first we have a lot of miles south to cover and we have a beautiful highway to do it. So let's do it. Yes. So we're just stopping at the side of the road because we just saw some flamingos in the lake just next to us. <laughs> yes, let's check them out. Oh, let's go check them out. There's like one, two, three, four, five little pink flamingos. Beautiful. Wow, they are beautiful. We're just uh, stopping because it's chilly. We've got to put our rain jackets on. Yeah. 
to protect us from the wind. The bike is recording 18 degrees at the moment, but with this wind chill, oh my god. Whew. It's not too warm today, hey? No. Wow, got a massive view here. We just came over the crest of the hill and there's a big, big, big view all around. Yeah, wow, I can't believe how big this area here is. <laughs> and then you can spot like in between always some sheep as well. So it's like, how does the farmer even find these sheep? you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But man, this wind is just so annoying. It's definitely the biggest, biggest challenge that we're facing on the road at the moment. We've covered 80 miles so far, but yeah, man, it's pretty tough and pretty cold. Some mountains appeared in the middle of the flat. That's nice. Look at that. And we can see all the way down to the coast over there. Where all the penguins are. Whoa, it's like a mini mountain range in the middle of the Patagonian desert. It's nice in here. Oh, so nice without the winter second. Yeah. Oh. We're just coming down into the town of Comodoro Rivadavia. And we've just come down from the steps through this amazing landscape. And it's like like mini Grand Canyons everywhere around here. Yeah, it looks so cool. And it's giving me a chance to warm my fingers up a little bit because the temperature is up to 23 degrees down here. We've also just reached over 100 miles for the day. So I reckon it's a good time for us to stop in this town, have a little break. Oh, look at this town. Wow. It's like just a collection of concrete blocks in the middle of nowhere and half of the buildings are just breeze blocks with a bit of concrete and that's it they haven't even done anything else and although it looks really nice and warm at the moment during the winter this area is is below freezing so this is a really really harsh place to live we stopped here at a fuel station and just warming up a bit it's nice it's nice it's nice to have a break and it's already lunchtime I prepared this morning some bread for us with cheese and some egg <laughs> and then we have some mandarins as well to keep us nice and healthy and I will put some salad in my bread and then as a little dessert we have uh, this one here it's like uh, peanuts with sugar <laughs> <laughs> Amazing lunch! <laughs> Some bread rolls! <laughs> I love it! Fueled up <laughs> and ready to rock and roll. So during the break I had a little look and actually found out that this town here, Comodoro Rivadavia, is the largest town in this province, the province of Chubut. And uh, there's 180,000 people living here. It's a big place. Yeah, which is unexpectedly big for this area. But this city is actually known as the oil capital of Argentina. You can see over here, YPF, YPF. That's the uh, petrol company. Basically, uh, the original farmers that came here, which were actually from South Africa, they were looking for water to start up their farm and make a settlement, but they found oil instead and now we have a big booming oil town here. <laughs> really interesting. And actually it's amazing because there's actually a pipe that runs from here all the way to Buenos Aires. So Buenos Aires is getting their, their gas from this town and the pipe runs for like 1,700 kilometers. Incredible. Absolutely insane. Crazy place in the middle of nowhere. Whoa, look at this giant sandy cliffs. <laughs> This looks awesome! <laughs> and then, this highway is now running right in front of the ocean. Maybe we can spot some whales! 
Oh yeah, what a location! I mean, this town is incredibly industrial. Yeah, but it does have a nice ocean front here, a nice beach. I can see some windsurfers down there. So I that's very cool. It's a good place for windsurfing. Oh <laughs> my god, is it windy? <laughs> it is so windy. Whoa, look at this coast road coming out of Commodoro Rivadavia. Wow, epic! Look at that, hey! What an awesome road! Nice! Oh yeah, people are camping there on the beach! Cool! Yeah, I think you can pretty much camp on the beach anywhere you want here. Wow, what an area! Amazing! So we just pulled off yeah. on the side of the road <laughs> because we just saw these guys. Wow, look at them! How many? It's I've... a whole uh, elephant seal colony or is it sea lions? I think it's sea lions actually. I totally freak out. How many? It's like a full. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. And then they're still there. It's this cool! Wow! We were just riding along, hey? And then I was just like, hold on a minute, what's all those things in the water? <laughs> and then we just pulled on over and it's like, sea lion colony! Wow! Look, 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 look! Oh God! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Bravo! Epic! Epic, hey? Unbelievable! Wow! Cool. Unbelievable! But you can also see, they're building a new road up there. Yeah, this is the highway that we came from up there. And this is the old one. Yeah, it and was it was at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can see here. It's like they definitely needed to build one a bit further back, eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, look at oh my god, that's ab absolutely incredible. I can't get over this this party here. Beautiful. Give me your best sea lion. <laughs> They're living a good life, eh? Love them. Cool. We're just uh, leaving the coast now. Where the Ruta 3 heads back inland. I can see up ahead that we're making our way up and back up to the step, which is basically that line ahead of us, up to the incredibly windy and colder plains above. <laughs> I mean, it's like one nice view after the next, after the next. I'm just so impressed. No, I did not expect this. Wow. Wow. Look at that, hey? Coming up to the town of Fitzroy, back up on the plains, and just look ahead at how dark it is. It looks so raining over there. Wow. And this is like exactly our direction, and behind us is like nice clouds and blue skies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the yes. head looks absolutely terrible. Terrible. So I think we're going to stop in Fitzroy, fill up on fuel and then uh, take a look at the forecast and see what we're going to do. Okay. okay. We waited a little bit and kept an eye out in front and actually it's looking a lot nicer already. Can't believe the change so quickly. I mean, there's such strong winds. I think the clouds are moving like really fast. Very fast. I think we have a wind at the moment from like uh, 15 to 20 uh, kilometers an hour. But yeah, so look ahead, looks much nicer. So we decided that it is worth pushing on. I think we have about 60 miles until we get to the turn off um, where we've seen uh, some camps along a dirt road on Ayavalanda and that will be way more peaceful than where we camped last night so yeah this is what we need <laughs> this is what we need we made 
may have made a mistake because it's now starting to rain so we're going to put our rain gear on Okay, I think that this is our dirt road. Okay, we'll just let the tire pressure down and then we'll see how this dirt road is. All settled. 38 and a half. Letting some more out. Oh, 37 and a half, I went too far. 38, perfect. <laughs> Perfecto. All right, tire pressure good. Let's take on this dirt road. Oh yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Not a bad one at all. Wow, it is an absolutely epic landscape here. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a dirt road, eh? So I think the spot on iOverlander is coming up just here somewhere. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, 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 oh that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Almost like really like sliding down, eh? Hey? A little bit sliding down the hill. Okay, go to the road. You think this road here? I don't know. No, no, no. Maybe not. Oh, it is that road, I think. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think it is that road. Okay. Can I go over here? Let me try. Nope, nope, nope. I think we can probably... Can let's we get see. In from let's over see if there. we can get across here. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind going straight over here, but... Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I think I would jump off though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're aiming to get just behind this little hill here. This little area. Okay. Okay. Through here, over the bush. Over the sandbank. <laughs> There we go. Can deal with any kind of terrain, this bad boy. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's find a spot where we can pitch our tent then. Good evening guys! We made it! Happy and alive! Whee! Yes, to the most epic place in the middle of the Patagonian desert. Have a look at this. The tent behind the bumblebee. Look at this. Got a beautiful
beautiful sunset behind us. You've got these amazing mountains all in the background. This amazing vista. It's oh. Mother Nature, I am impressed. I think this might be one of my favorite places we've ever camped. Yeah, it's really, 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 it's really cool. And it will be nice because it's quiet and dark and we will have a really good night asleep. I don't think we're gonna need earplugs. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna need nice. earplugs. <laughs> it's not so windy at the moment. I pray that continues. But what a view, what a view to finish the day, hey? Absolutely amazing. Wow. I'm so happy. Yeah, I thought today was gonna be a really boring ride, just 280 miles, blah, 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 I'm done, you know? But it turned out amazing. The way we went down to the coast, we saw the flamingo in the morning, we saw a colony of sea lions. Yeah, Argentina, I'm so impressed really with this coast road and the first views of like nice mountains and the desert. Oh my God, it's so, so beautiful. It's getting more and more beautiful yes. every day as yes. we get further into Patagonia. So we did at the end 280 miles, which is about 450 kilometers. Pretty good ride. <laughs> and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Yummy! <laughs> Dinner time! Oli's working hard. <laughs> And I have my nice tomato aubergine lentil soup with some rice crackers. Wow. And a view. Some days I just don't want that they end. Come back, son!